Hello everybody, this is Evan Lazar for CLNS Media reporting from Gillette Stadium, which just like the 2022 Patriots is under construction. And in this video, we are gonna continue our deep dive into the 2022 NFL draft class, starting with wide receivers. It's the position that's on everybody's mind, despite the Devontae Parker trade and bringing back Kendrick Bourne, Nelson Aguilar, and Jacoby Myers. Will the Patriots and Bill Belichick dip back into the wide receiver? receiver pool, another very good, very deep wide receiver class in the 2022 NFL draft. It feels like I say that every single draft cycle now going on four or five years, a great wide receiver draft almost every single year. If you look at the market, especially in the veteran landscape, Tyree Kill, Stephon Diggs, Devonte Adams, all cashing out this offseason at the wide receiver position, meaning the value, especially on those rookie contracts with the fifth year options in the first round is skewing heavily towards the draft at the wide receiver position. If the Patriots are gonna go out and get one of these elite talents, you would think that it's gonna have to happen in April instead of March. So with that in mind, let's start with the first round target for the Patriots and we'll work our way down. Despite his torn ACL in the national championship game, it's hard to argue Jamison Williams' fit in the Patriots offense and just what that kind of speed would bring to New England, something that they haven't really had in quite some time. I guess you could consider Brandon Cooks on that level of fast. Certainly Randy Moss over a decade ago had that kind of vertical speed. But Jamison Williams is a three-level threat. Do not sleep on his ability to create big plays as a ball carrier. Certainly he can take the top off the defense, vertical routes, double moves on the outside, deep overs or crossing routes in the middle of the field, but at the line of scrimmage or just past the line of scrimmage, a player that you can also scheme touches for near the ball and have him create as a yak machine. So Jamison Williams brings that three level stretch to the offense, whether it's horizontally stretching the defense, going sideline to sideline with his speed or vertically stretching the defense up the field. The Patriots have not had a game breaker at the wide receiver position on Jamison Williams' level in quite some time. Now, you might have to have some patience with him, certainly with that ACL injury. He does have an aggressive timeline right now for recovery to be back by training camp this summer. I do think that's pushing it a little bit, certainly coming off that ACL in January. The Patriots are in a unique position, though, that they can go ahead and rest Jamison Williams, make sure he's 100% before they put him back on the field, because they do have those four wide receivers I mentioned earlier as ready, capable veteran talent that they can put out on the field for the first half of the season and bring Jamison Williams in in the second half of the 2022 campaign. So first round target, Jamison Williams, now going down the board a little bit more to a prime day two target. We've obviously talked a lot on the channel about Alabama teammate, John Mechie. So I'm not gonna go over Mechie again in this video. You can check out the channel. You can check out clnsmedia.com. We have plenty of Mechie content there and it obviously makes a ton of sense from a chemistry standpoint with Mac Jones to dip back into the Alabama well and get one of his go-to targets from the 2020 national championship season for the Crimson Tide that Mac Jones quarterbacked. But I wanna go to one of their rivals in the SEC for a second to talk about George Pickens from Georgia. Also a player that is coming off an ACL injury, but this one goes back to the 2021 spring practice session when he tore his ACL. He came back towards the end of last season for the Bulldogs, appeared in four games for Georgia, including down the stretch in the college football playoff, and then worked out at the combine, worked out at his pro day. George Pickens is not like Jamison Williams and John Mechie. He is healthy, he is good to go, he's 100%, and he will be on the field for OTAs, training camp, in the works for for the team that drafts him in a couple of weeks. So we look at George Pickens, what do we like about him? A similar outside threat who has great burst and speed off the line of scrimmage. There are very few wide receivers Sands Jamison Williams that threaten corners as easily as Pickens does bursting off the line. You see him push vertical and how that affects DBs on tape. A lot of guys opening their hips early. A lot of guys getting on their horses trying to keep up with him and he's very fluid and very smooth at the top of the route where he can build off that vertical stem to stop and create comeback separation or back shoulder separation along the sideline. Cut inside to the middle of the field on deeper 
dig routes and create that separation at the intermediate level going off of those vertical stems and certainly that ability to stretch the field and get behind the defense, which we saw in the national championship game with a big 50 yard catch against Alabama. So George Pickens, another player that fits that size speed outside wide receiver mold for the Patriots. Don't sleep on his blocking either. Somebody that can really block and is a very physical and willing run blocker too. We know the Patriots look for those complete skill sets. I think George Pickens is another one of those players. Now let's go to an inside receiver, late day three guy, Boise State's Khalil Shakur. I think the Patriots have shown some interest in Shakur so far in the pre-draft process, going to his pro day. Ross Douglas, Patriots assistant, now turned scout. Uh, uh, excuse me, now turned offensive assistant after coaching defense last year. He was at Boise State, very hands-on with Shakur. Shakur is a more inside player, slot receiver. Still got some speed though, 4-4-3 in the 40-yard dash at the combine. Can get up the field vertically up the seams, crossing routes over the middle of the field. We see the Patriots use their slot receivers in that type of vein. But really what stands out about him is his skill as a ball carrier. The Boise State did pretty much everything that they could to get the ball in Khalil Shakur's hands. Having him run wildcat quarterback reps or end arounds and jet sweeps, screen passes, other actions out of the backfield. Get the football in his hands and watch him create with it. He was very good at that at Boise State. That obviously fits in with the Patriots offense and how they like to use their slot receivers. He can help in the return game as well. Day, three, uh, day two guy, late round three type of prospect. Maybe a target for the Patriots at 85 if he gets pushed down the board by this wide receiver market. I'm Evan Lazar for CLNS Media. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching our coverage of the six-time Super Bowl champion, New England Patriots. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Patriots Press Pass, for a lot more exclusive content on the Patriots right here on CLNSmedia.com.